Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars and to my review of the Shark AI self-empty robot vacuum. It's the first robot vacuum from Shark that uses a top-mounted LiDAR system for its smart navigation, and after testing it for the past couple weeks in various ways, I think there's a lot to like, with only a few minor issues to nitpick. So links in the description and let's get started. Starting off with the pros, and let's get right to the big difference here, which is the LiDAR. Every other robot vacuum from Shark before this, with the exception of the VacMop Pro AI, used VSLAM, which means a top-mounted camera to navigate around. And this is the first one to use LiDAR, which is a spinning invisible laser also mounted on the top. Both LiDAR and VSLAM will map your house and help the robot to navigate systematically room by room in more or less straight lines, and they're both premium features only found on more expensive robot vacuums. Both systems have their pros and cons and are really quite similar, but in this case I think the LiDAR system is a big step up from Shark's previous system in terms of navigation. In my tests it had nearly 100% coverage of both the small and large rooms. It also did well in the real world navigation tests of my house, avoiding obstacles better than their previous versions which I think relied too much on their bump sensors. One of the big advantages to using LiDAR over the previous Sharks is the much more accurate no-go zone zones, which are zones that you can draw on the map in the app to keep the robot from going where you don't want it to go, which is a feature I consider very important, and it did really well with this in the tests. Another big pro for the Shark AI is a feature that I'm starting to consider a must-have, at least for premium robot vacuums, which is the auto-empty bin, where when it finishes its cleaning job, it automatically returns to its bin, where a motor on the base kicks in, and it sucks the debris out of the bin into the base. This one is a newly designed large capacity bin from Shark, which they say can hold up to 60 days worth of debris. And it's one of the only bagless auto-empty bins on the market, so there's no bags to buy, you just empty the bin directly into the trash. It's also a complete HEPA bin, which is only advertised with premium manufacturers. I've been testing this regularly at my house, and in almost every case, it completely empties the bin of pet hair from my two cats. Except that is for the very first run, where I intentionally left my house unvacuumed for two weeks, to see if it could empty all the cat hair that built up in that time. It didn't, but almost none can either. I had no troubles with it emptying the bin after that day though, and also Shark is one of the only manufacturers to include an app setting where you can tell it to return to the base every 30 minutes if you want to, which you would use if you have multiple large pets that shed a lot. In any case, the bin is one of the best Shark has designed yet. Another pro is the power. It was above average with airflow, and that power showed up on the deep clean test where I embed sand into medium pile carpet and weigh the bin before and after a five minute run, where it was also above above average, getting the same score as some much more expensive robot vacuums. In terms of its main job, which is picking stuff up from the surfaces of carpets and hard floors, it was also above average. I really like Shark's dual brush design, and all of its brushes worked well together on hard floors where it had a nice clean pickup, even on its lower power settings, and even with heavy debris like kitty litter. It had no problems with larger debris either, on carpets or hard floors, and it also did perfectly with pet hair as well. Basically, in terms of pickup, it was all good. It has a newly designed main brush as well, which Shark says is better than their previous anti-hair tangle technology. I did find it to be good, but not perfect. You will still need to regularly keep it clean, in my opinion, if you have longer hair. The biggest pro for the Shark AI robot vacuum, though, is the price. Shark seems to be engineering robot vacuums that are good enough at incredibly low prices. They're usually not the best robots in every respect, but Shark robot vacuums have consistently been the best in terms of bang for the buck, in my opinion, and the same is true here, especially if you catch it while it's on sale. Before I get to the negative stuff, one quick note on the AI in its name. As far as I can tell, this is more or less marketing speak. It's not AI in the sense that it has machine learning obstacle avoidance, which has started to show up in some robot vacuums. It won't, for example, avoid obstacles that are too low for its LiDAR or too light for its bump sensors to detect. The Shark AI does avoid obstacles of a certain height and without using its bump sensor, but it does so with a combination of its top-mounted LiDAR and front-mounted infrared sensors. 
sensors, which is common to most LiDAR-based robot vacuums. One of the main negative things I felt with this robot was the app. It's not the worst app in the world, but it's far from the best either. It's kind of buggy. I often had to restart it to get it to do something or another I wanted. It doesn't have real-time monitoring of the robot on the map, which is a minor thing, but it may be the only time I've seen a lack of that feature on a LiDAR robot. It also took two runs to map my house, which is not common with LiDAR, which I attributed to the app. Some of these things can be fixed with future updates, and it does have all the premium app features you would want, which do work well. Things like on-demand cleaning to target specific rooms, and all kinds of scheduling options, etc. Another thing is its algorithm. It's just a little too persistent when it gets into a tight spot, meaning that if there's a place for it to get stuck, it's probably going to find it. So you really need to make use of those no-go zones and put small barriers around problem areas in the app in order to make sure it has a nice clean run every time. Also, the battery life, which Shark says can get 80 minutes on low power, is below average. It's not that big of a deal with smart robots like these, which have a feature called Recharge and Resume, where they can remember where they left off on the map and simply return to that spot and continue the cleaning job. And that works for most houses, but if you have a larger floor plan, you'll probably find that it will take two runs to complete one job, depending on the power setting you're using. My takeaways were number one, that the LiDAR navigation is a major improvement for shark robot vacuums, making them more valuable overall. Everything else on this model is what you need to get the most out of a robot vacuum. It cleans both hard floors and carpets really well. And when you combine all the navigation and scheduling features with its high quality auto empty bin, you have an incredibly good value robot vacuum, which is hard to beat. Links in the description and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.